Well, we're getting ready for bed here. It's uh, later than I wanted it to be. It's uh, a little past 10 now. Um, I've been pretty much going steady since we uh, hit camp. Got the, uh, the tarp set up here. And that's just covering a little bit of the front of the tent here. So that way if it rains, it'll give us a little extra shelter with the uh, items out front. I've got my uh, the life jackets. I've got them strung through the, uh, the paddles, give them a little extra weight. Um, actually, let's take this rock here, put it on top, just in case we get a lot of wind. We don't want anything blowing away. My shoes, I did not get them dry. I didn't have enough of a fire, or I didn't really have time. I didn't really sit around the fire this evening. I was just busy getting dinner ready and then uh, um, putting up the tarp and doing the tent and pumping water and hanging the bear bag. I also put up a line here and this goes under the tarp. This is the uh, side rope and I just ran that up to the other side here and I'm hoping I'll be able to get my socks and the uh, towel a little drier for tomorrow but you don't really get much drying power at night so I think I'm probably going to be stuck with wet stuff but oh well within about half an hour of uh, being out there my feet are usually wet anyway so it's just kind of mentally nice to be able to get into some dry shoes in the morning. Well, we're just going to bed here. And I just closed my eyes. I was listening to this. The water and the thunder. I was just thinking what a marvelous way to go to sleep. The thunder has been rolling for most of the day. Stop for... couple of hours whenever I hit my sight, so I was fortunate that I didn't get any more rain, but I think there's more on the way. Maddie here is cooked. She is so done. She's used to couch surfing during the day, so this is a little different for her. Anyways, just enjoying the thunder and the, the sound of the water. I don't want to go to sleep. Well, I just got up uh, about half an hour ago, actually getting things put away, and it was a nice sunny day. It was really great. And now, it's starting to bloody rain again, and clouds are rolling in. Look at this. Oh, man. I really, uh, really don't want to do another day like yesterday. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Oh, yeah, boy. Anyways, I've got my uh, I've got my tarp set up, so that's good. It's a little high for any kind of real big storm. Maybe I'll lower it, but anyways, we'll see what we can get. I mean, either way, we'll hit the water as long as there's no lightning, same as yesterday. And uh, uh, I was going to say, I think the wind's going to be going with us, but not sure about that. Got a little, a little smudge on the lens here. I've had the wind at my back for a good part of this paddle. Not too bad at all. Nice and calm in here. That's what I like about the uh, rivers. But my portage should be just right around the corner here. I'm going to start off with two short ones. Just a 75 and a 40. And then uh, probably going about 4 kilometers. And I've got a 300. Then I've got to travel quite a distance, probably about 10 kilometers, and then that's going to take me into uh, an 1840 portage, and then into my campsite for the night. So it's a 23 kilometer day, and I'm hoping to get to my site earlier than usual. 4.30 or 3 would be great. Oh yeah, I can see my portage there now. We have ourselves a lovely little portage here. Kind of like a stroll through the Shire. Maddie's 
quite content to be laying in the bottom of the boat here. Well, I wouldn't say she's content. I would say that she's not completely unhappy. <laughs> I don't think she'll respond. Maddie? No. She's mad at me. I was getting a little too comfortable here, perhaps. The wind here, because I'm right sitting against the, uh, the west shore and the wind's coming in from the west, so I'm not getting any, which is nice. A nice blue sky, but e not sure what is rolling in here. Well, I got to the portage that's going to take us into Big Trout, which is not even our final destination. It just started to rain, and the wind gusts are so big that it just blew the canoe off of my shoulders whenever I was bringing it up here. I was bringing it up here, and then it just pushed me right over here, and then just took the canoe right up and over. I stopped it from slamming onto the ground. I kind of managed to grab a hold of the thwart. But, uh, man, I tell you, it is windy. Luckily, I think this wind is going in my direction. So I think I might be able to ride with this. You know, I think it was Bill Mason who was saying that doing the double carry wasn't so bad because he really enjoyed the walk back. I see what he means. It's, it's, it really is nice. Taking that walk back, having a little snack, kind of getting a bit of your strength back, and you really just kind of take in the sights a little more than you normally would. So, uh, I think whenever I go on my shorter trips and I do have a lighter pack, I'll probably continue to do the single carry. But whenever it becomes to the point that it's kind of draining the fun of the trip, I don't think I'd hesitate as much to do that, uh, that double carry. All right, we're on Big Trout now. Look at these waters, don't they look nice? Nice and calm, no problems. This is how deceiving it is, because I am betting anything that once we get out there, that we will have white caps. I think I can kind of see some there, hard to say, but either way, I mean, I know how hard the wind is blowing. And it's only because we're on the westward shore right now that we're not uh, witnessing it. But I do believe it's going to be going with us. So my fingers are crossed. We have a ways to go yet. It's one o'clock right now. Um, I'm trying to make this point right here, but it's proving to be quite difficult to, uh, to stay on track. So this is what we were uh, coming in from. Pretty nasty out there. I uh, don't know if you can really see the size of these uh, waves here, but just really not a good idea to be out there right now. It never looks quite as bad on camera as it does in real life, but these guys here are really rolling. Just nasty. seems to like it. Uh, this is good. This will be good enough. This will keep us out of the wind. I could tie this one here and this one here as well. Um, I've got these guys here tagged straight into the uh, into the ground. Here and here. This one here, I kept it tied to the tree because um, I just wasn't getting the right angle on here. And it's fine. It keeps it low enough with the rock on there. And this gives a little bit of extra support. Um, like I said, I could tie down these ones here as well, and I may do that, but for now we'll just leave it like this. This is just a temporary shelter anyways. So I guess you're probably getting a lot of wind noise right now, but uh, <laughs> Maddie's wondering who I'm talking to. So we're uh, windbound now, comfortable, ready for a storm once we come. Uh, I've got my little bag here upside 
down. And I got the paddles holding it down. This way here I can get my feet out to dry and uh, have a bit of a clean spot here to, uh, to work around. Anyway, so I'm going to uh, look at the map and see what our uh, choices are now at this point. Because I don't think this is going to slow down any time soon. Like, probably not going to see anything like that. So, uh, I think we're going to have to start making ourselves a To be honest, I'm a little surprised this is actually holding up. There is an immense amount of pressure here. You can see here, I can see where it's starting to weaken. I don't know if that's actually a hole there or just if it's just very thin, but um, an immense amount of pressure on this tarp right now. Um, I think I may see about tying some of these down here, some of the extras to uh, alleviate some of that pressure from the, uh, the main points. I'm just going through our uh, our options now. <clears throat> just having a little snack here. Whoa! Of, uh, just some dried fruit I did at home. Got some uh, apples, plum, and uh, dried Cherries, which are uh, quite good. Going through the map here. This is us right there. Okay. I'm right out, exposed on the open. I had no choice. Nowhere else is up until here. I wasn't willing to uh, make that attempt. We're supposed to be here, so we're way off. I'm gonna have to make an adjustment. It's too bad I wanted to get to Black Labiel over here. It's very difficult to lake to uh, to get into, but I just don't think that's gonna be in the cards for this trip. Went too aggressive with the uh, distances and didn't account for the the bad weather. If we didn't have this bad weather, it'd be no problem. You know, it'd just be a nice paddle. Portage is a little long, a little heavy with the pack, but doing the double carry, you know, I could manage, but not like this. Uh, it looks like this tree here is getting ready to go. It's been creaking and cracking, and you can see the right there. It's starting to split, and it is really swaying up top. You can just hear it cracking. Well, this is nice. This is a uh, standing dead birch. It's got lots of birch bark left on it, so it's going to be great for getting the uh, fire going. So we're just on the hunt for some firewood. I found this guy up here. Looks like people have already been picking away at him. Got lots of good wood left. I already took a few pieces off and uh, dump them over here. We'll bring those back. We've already got a huge branch back at the camp. We still have this piece here. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Be nice too, because even if I don't need all of this, I can leave, I can leave some for the next people. Ugh. All right, no problem. Ugh. My pants intact after that. No holes, that's good. Now we have got tons of birch here. So we have lots and lots of birch bark. So we will have no problem getting this fire started. You know, there's something really satisfying about going from wind like this and then moving into nice quiet like this and having your shelter above you. The wind kept from your back. 
Um, I've submitted to staying at this site now. I'm not going any further. Not today, anyways. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and set up the tent and pump some water. And I've already got all my firewood here. More than enough firewood. Got tons of birch bark here. Oh, crappy stuff, but that'll burn anyways. We're looking pretty good.